this week on Scam School. You got three friends? Well, you're about to have three friends. It's the magic of friendship. Friendship is magic. I saw that on a TV show once. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the show that doesn't need your validation. But seriously, please like and subscribe. The link is right up there. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood. And this week, it is the simplest of all problems. How do you find three cards at once with wizard powers and a pool table and a deck of cards? You'll need a deck of cards. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this. There we go. All right, we have Crunchy and Sarah and Sarah's mom, Jan. We're gonna teach the simplest card trick I've ever seen. It is so good, it pulled the pants off of me. Crunchy, do me a favor. Uh, well, here, first, let's go uh, shuffle up those cards. You know how to shuffle cards, right? Not really. Right, so Sarah, <laughs> you shuffle up those cards. You know how to shuffle cards, right? I do. Yeah, okay, good. Now, let me just say, we try not to truck with any kind of special decks or trick cards or marked decks or any of that stuff. All right, Crunchy, do me a favor. Take whatever card you want. Take a look at it. There you go, put it back in the deck. There, there, there we go. Oh, with the top card, I see, I see. You got it? Yep. All right, put it back anywhere you want in the deck. All right, take a look, you got it? Put it anywhere you want in the deck. At this point, I could shuffle the deck and you'd be all like, ah, them magician hands doing their magician trick with the card manipulation. But that's why I'm gonna let Sarah shuffle the cards. Sarah, shuffle them up however you like. And when you're convinced that there's no way I could know what your cards are or where they are on the deck, just set them right over here. There we go. I'm gonna try to feel for the zones where your cards are. I'm gonna say one of them is around here. One of them is around here. This third one is toughy. I'm gonna say the third one's around here. So let's get rid of these. I feel like this one's definitely special, and this one's definitely special. And I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I'm gonna guess that this one is. I honestly don't know about this third one. What was your card? Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds. Two of diamonds. Two of diamonds. Eight of hearts. Eight of hearts, that's one. Oh my goodness. Ace of diamonds, that's another. We'll see if I got this last one. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, you guys are gonna love this. It's unbelievably simple. Here, toast me. Yep, and how do you do that? Magic, that's how. <laughs> Brant, really? Again? I can't use these anymore. John, 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 brainstorm, clamstuff.com. It's gear for the mollusk rogue. Grab the domain. Boop. Brian gets these flashes of inspiration all the time. Scamschoolmagazine.net. The .net gives us instant credibility. Register, register. Brant. Scam stuffed. Brian Teddy Bears. We use domain.com to get affordable and reliable domains. Plus, promo code SCAMSCHOOL gets us 15% off. Ho oh, ho! Brand stuff. Brand stuff? Brand stuff. Brand stuff? Brand stuff. Gear for the malted rogue. Toast, 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 toast. <laughs> All right, now the first thing people suspect when you do this is that there's some kind of marked cards, right? I don't know if you know this, but an old gambler's trick to see whether or not there's marked cards, you riffle through the deck and you can see if there's any markings, they'll look like, I don't know, little flickers in there because you'll, you'll see the difference. But in this case, you can see that they're all unmarked, right? So here's the thing. This genuinely is a deck that I bought from Walmart just the other day. It, there's nothing tricky about it. Except when you buy a deck of bicycle cards that are intended for use in gambling establishments, they're very, very precise to make sure all the cards are correct. When you buy it at like, you know, a, a corner store or at a, a major supermarket or whatever, oftentimes you'll be getting some of the, what they call the factory seconds. 
These are cards that are perfectly good, perfectly usable, but they don't quite meet the quality standards of the ones that the casinos want. And one of the attributes of this is that if you look closely, this card is ever so slightly off-center. You see how this side is thinner oh, yeah. than this side? Right. So this means you can make what magicians call a one-way deck. So if I were to arrange all of them so that the fat side was on the right and the thin side was on the left, you do this for all of them, then all of a sudden you can tell if one of them's different. So in this case, we got thin, 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 thin. So, so if you, if you look away together. and I turned it one card around, you would see thin, thin, thick, thin, 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 right? So in this case, all I did was I made sure before the trick even started, I set up all the cards so that the thick side was on my left. So if you were to take an ace, and you were to take an ace, and you were to take an ace, then, then here's the big secret move. Whoop. <laughs> then put it in there. And so you guys have the reverse card. Now, no matter how much you shuffle them up, as long as they keep them oriented the same way, oh, you're gonna yeah. be totally good. Right. Here's the tricky part. When you spread the cards, they are all, for a brief horrifying second, going to look exactly the same. But then, is, if you really sort of fuzz out your vision, you should be able to see. Let's see if you guys can tell where the three thin sides are. There, maybe. Which one? This one right here? Mm -hmm. All right, so that's your guess. You think that's an ace? That one there. All right, so you think that's an ace? That's good. It's sort of a zen thing, isn't it? You gotta kind of tune out your eyesight. And let's see. The last one's tough to spot. No, that's a fat one. I see it right. Oh, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. There right, you go. All right, right let's see if you guys got it right. Ready? Ace! Ace! Very well done here at Toasty. That was awesome, guys. First and foremost, got to give a huge thanks to Matt Pilcher for reminding me of this principle. It was something that I discovered back in college, but I had totally forgotten about, and it never would have shown up on Scam School if he hadn't have sent it to me. So thank you, Matt. You're a good, great guy. And in fact, all of you are great guys, and we'll be best friends if you hit me up at twitter.com slash schwood. That's S-H-W-O-O-D. There is no C in schwood. And don't forget to join us next week, because for the first time ever, we're going to be shooting with permits. You hear that, Austin? Permits! Just kidding. We won't have permits. <laughs> uh, something, something, cards, aura, something, something psychological nonsense. Here we go. Do we show the... Uh, well, well, you just showed it to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoops! <laughs> I just realized I screwed up the entire thing. That's my version of a script. <laughs>